they just ran out of paper for you to yes. write on. <laughs> There's just not enough room for you. I don't understand why you never went over on Saturday Night Live. I thought you were funny on it. Yeah, well, you know, I, but I'll have to call Dick Ebersole and ask him. Yeah, I mean, I think you were going over. I think that, I don't know why you didn't go over with Dick Ebersole. Yeah, he's a dork. He's a complete dork, and his huh? wife and all that is. Uh, his wife is uh, St. James. His wife a pig, yeah. She is a pig. She's oh. a pig. <laughs> and Kate and Allie's the worst show on the air. <laughs> there you go. No bitterness there, nah. Gilbert. I'm There's glad. a man. There's a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> the worst show ever. All right, now it's time for the big production number. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for my notes. Give me a second. All right, here it is. Now, this is the big production yes. number. Okay. All right. It's where we close out the show. I should do a little monologue. You didn't say it. where yes. I'm going to be, though. After all, oh, that's right. You're going to be. I'm here to plug shamelessly. <laughs> you're going to be. Yes. You're going to be a Caroline's. Caroline's tonight, tomorrow night, two shows. All right, fine. Yes. I had to get that in. I mean, no, because normally I just wake up four o'clock in the morning anyway. But since. But you know something, Gilbert? Uh, seriously, here at the FM. But I don't sell out. This is the FME statue, the coveted FME statue. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful, Robin? I know it's you lovely. hold each statue. You actually, Robin sits on the statues oh. until they are ready to be given away. <laughs> Only on the FM. They have to be kept warm. <laughs> Let me try and describe the FME. Hey, you got a big laugh on that one. <laughs> The FME is uh, a little bit more yellow than Yoko Ono and a little taller than Vince Scalsa, all right? <laughs> I tell you. I tell you, though, one thing about being the host of an award show, Gilbert, you know this. Have you ever yes. hosted an award show? Many times. You have? Many times. You know, it's lonely being up here on the podium. The only thing lonelier is being president of the Jimmy Fink fan club. <laughs> you know. No, but seriously, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I've been getting rave reviews as master of ceremonies, you know. Yeah. In fact, uh, I've gotten more strokes recently than you have to from the people in our business. Thank you. You know? Hey, by the way, Mrs. Willie B. Williams is here. And I'll tell you something. She's glad he's gone. Why? Eh, uh, you know. <clears throat> After kissing Frank Sinatra's butt for all those years, <laughs> how'd you like to go home and kiss him every night, huh? <laughs> You know what the B stood for? What? Brown nose. Isn't it? <laughs> Certainly wasn't for boner, was it? <laughs> well, who knows? I don't know. Actually, I do miss Willie B. Willie B. was an innovator, as you know. He was yes, one of the guys who started everything. People. He was a very nice guy. Sweetest guy. And of course, cousin Brucey. Cousin Brucey was sweet. That's right. You know what that E stands for, don't you? What? Annoying. That's right. <laughs> he wrote a book, you know, cousin Brucey. He knew the Beatles. That's right. He actually knew them. That's right. In fact, uh, after Murray the K met Cousin Brucey, uh -huh. he got cancer. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> nice toupee. The man has more bad rugs than a secondhand store in Pakistan. <laughs> My Cousin Brucey, I tell you, you think he'd be able to, with all the radio stations he's owned and everything, you would think that the man could afford a decent toupee. And uh, quite frankly, I think it's time for our production number. That's it. Because I've just time. about run out of monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and do Tony Pig jokes, am I? <laughs> no, I got news for you. It is time, Gilbert. Okay. Aren't now, you Robin, lucky, Gilbert? Let's train tap dance on this one. It's a slow one, though. Yeah, we could still tap dance. All right, this is the FME. This is how we close out. This is our song about NBC, which we annihilated in the ratings and destroyed, and, yeah. and now it's being sold. So we're very proud of this. Somebody cue me when you start. Oh, you start. Uh, cue me. Yeah. At NBC. <laughs> NBC. <laughs> they took my limo and my job from me. I beat that stupid Imus easily. Now he's got nothing but the DTs. <laughs> They have no class. NBC comes in the ratings last. <laughs> WFA and brought them out fast. NBC and I miss can kiss my ass. <laughs> that old fool I miss can kiss my ass. I am king. <laughs> and I will last. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gilbert.
Thank you. Robin, you hit all the high notes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got to hand it to us. Uh, look at the audience. They're going nuts. Well, yes, that number really brought the house down. The house down brought our ratings down five points. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Hello? Hey, did you like that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what the hell that means? Hey, how'd you like that? Oh, that was, was dynamite. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that was the best I ever heard. All right, thank you. How'd you like that? Excellent, consistent, typical stern perfection. We oh. love it. <laughs> oh, thank you. How the show lately has been phenomenal. Well, you know what it is? We got a little vacation this summer. Every once in a while, they give us a week off. We get a little revived. Well, you know, I tell you, I get bent out of shape every time you guys go on vacation because it's just not the same. It's yeah, but it is best of, and everybody enjoys that. Yeah, best of is great, but I tell you, now you've changed my view about your vacations. I think you guys earned another one. Yes, All thank right. Thank you. Very good. All right. Well, we won't, we won't be here next week. <laughs> well, well, in that case, <laughs> uh, no, hey, we do have a three-day weekend coming up, though. So we can expect some real super stuff next week? Yes, oh, as a yeah. matter of fact, you can. Oh, well. All we're, right, thank you. We're ready. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, everybody loves the <laughs> FME. Gilbert Gottfried is here appealing at Caroline's tonight. And, and tomorrow night. Tomorrow, two shows. Oh, but it's going to be some show. Oh, it's going to be some show it's tonight, gonna be great. boss. Oh, you got to do all those bits. Oh, I'll do all my yes. bits. All my bits. He is he yeah. is the funniest. <laughs> White tooth and black fang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can hardly wait for that. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Thank you. Steve Rossi? Uh, uh, it sh should have been. Uh, Dick Ebersol, I think, is producing. Is that right? Yes, my, yeah, what, my pal. That's going to be a hard show to produce. What do you do? You have two chairs and a guy just talks to you yes. for a half hour? And you go, uh, let's put the microphone by the chair. Yeah. Quite a production there. <laughs> And he gets paid for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The lovely Dick Ebersol. Yeah. You Ooh. really hate him, huh? Yes. Who said to me, uh, we'll take a week off, and then when we come back, we'll see what changes we're going to make on the show. <laughs> Little did I know, I was one of those major yeah. changes. You were the change. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and his wife goes on to do Kate and Holly. Worst no. show on the air. Eh, come on, don't be bitter. It's the worst show on the air. <laughs> Although, I, even though I have no personal... Worse than the Fox than, lineup? That's bad. <laughs> All right. No, that's bad. Okay. That's very you bad. You want to talk better? But yeah. he's talking real television. Actually. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> the three networks. Yes. 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 I mean, Fox is sort of beneath cable. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Showtime yes. laughs at yes. us. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 All right. Now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. That's my normal radio voice. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. See? What was I just talking about? Oh, glasses. Gilbert doesn't wear glasses. No. Well, I do, as you know. And I yes. wear I wear dark shades. I look like Stevie Wonder. Yes. The reason I wear the dark shades, you might ask. You look like Sandy Becker. <laughs> Sandy Becker. Mr. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Oh. With the big glasses? What, uh, oh, what was... Mr. McGeeby? Was, was it Hambone? Hambone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what you two are talking about. You've lost... Hambone on the yeah. Sandy Becker show. Yes. That's what I used to Hambone, like. Norton North. Uh, <laughs> Norton Nork. Uh, Hambo Norton Nork. Uh, Mr. Eva Giva. Eva Giva, Eva yes. Giva. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous characters. You know, I understand Bob Costas is going to interview him. You know, Mr. Eva Giva was my favorite. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> I did him for years. You know, when I did Norton Nork, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I felt that, uh, you know what? Why don't you interview me, Bob, and I'll do Norton Nort for you. And yeah, why don't we do like a whole Norton Nort interview for a half hour? I'll stay in character like Pee Wee Herman does. Sandy, if Norton Nort was in the room, what do you suppose he would say? <laughs> <laughs> well, Norton Nort, uh, I guess the difference I have, mm. my, my own personality in Norton Nort, is, um, <laughs> is the fact that I'm a little more lenient. Uh, yeah. but, but Norton Nort's more loving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Eva Giba, he, he was a different kind of guy. He came from pain. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you, he interviewed Billy Crystal? Yeah, that that was all I was able to watch of the wonderful Bob Costa show. Did you hear about uh, Joe Piscopo's divorce settlement? 
Uh, yes, yes. I think his his uh, current girlfriend. Well, his current girlfriend couldn't make the trial. She was in school. But no, no, no. He he brought yeah. the babysitter yeah. to the trial in front of a female judge. Imagine walking in with your hot young babysitter. Oh my goodness! And the female judge is sitting there. So not only is she hearing the story about the babysitter, maybe the judge is going, "Oh, maybe the babysitter is an older woman." Yeah. He, all of a sudden, she's sitting there in like a short dress. With her legs crossed, with the high heels. I mean, a gorgeous young girl. And her Smart mom. move, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, good, a good career move. He brings the young girl into the trial with him. And you wow. know how they are together. They never separate. They're like joined. They're like Siamese twins. Yeah. Bob Guccione would be there going, who's the slut, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> During the trial, the babysitter was making potholders. <laughs> So he brings her in, in front of the wife who's been dumped, and I'm sure the judge sitting on the bench, who's yeah. a woman, is going to be a little affected by this scene, right? And being a human being, she's probably against Joe Piscopo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So he already has two strikes against him. <laughs> oh, boy. Now it all comes out. The go. ugliness. The <laughs> ugliness. <laughs> the bitterness. Oh, boy. So what do you got to be bitter about anyway? You got an HBO special coming up. Yeah, and, and it's, it's quite good. And, and you're extremely talented. But you know, I don't compromise. <laughs> what do you mean? What is it about, the HBO special? Well, it's about a uh, half hour. I no, bet I could sell that to Steve Rossi. <laughs> Sounds like you're real embarrassed about it. No, it's a big show. It's a big show. It's Who called, do you have guesting? It's called, hey, do you mind? Show? It's called uh, Norman's Corner. What? You have some guests, like... Joe Franklin. Yes. I was able to get yes. for it. Yeah, I was what able about to uh, secure his talent. Guess you forgot about <clears throat> and it, me. What? Yet? Uh, <laughs> no, I was trying to call. Yeah. I, right. I'll be. I'll, I'll give one of those answers like... You know, where the heck were you? I was calling. That's all right, Gilbert. Let's plug your appearances. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all the dates wrong. Caroline's at the seaport tonight and Wednesday. You know, what could... I know people who get specials and they never ask Yeah, you. well, who else do you have? Henny Youngman or somebody? Henny <laughs> Youngman. I got the hottest people. <laughs> He's a pleasure to work with, isn't he? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know your hi. name afterwards? Uh, hi. 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 Uh, yeah. Hi, Gilbert. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You got a new pair of socks for me? Mine are all the way wrapped down right <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you'll be at Caroline's at the Seaport tonight and Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, two shows. And Laughs Comedy Club in Hampton Bay. I understand yes, you're going to be appearing exciting. there very soon. Very exciting. Yes. You can never. It's so exciting. The point is, I wear glasses. And you say, why do I wear glasses like Howard, Norton? Howard, why do you wear glasses? Like Hambone and Norton North. <laughs> well, that's why Gilbert wouldn't have you on his Eva Giba never wore glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Norton Nork or Norton North? I can't quite figure that out. It's Nort or Nort? I think it's Norton Nork. I think maybe Norton North. You grew up in Baltimore, Robin. You don't know about Norton North. I don't know Norton anything North. about this. That's a New Yorkism. Do you know Claude Kirshner? Yes. You do? He oh, was out in Boston? Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I've told her all about Claude Kirshner and clowns. Clown? Claude Kirshner's going to be on Bob Costas tonight. As a matter of fact, he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to ask him why he turned his head instead of uh, having the cameraman <laughs> get, the, get the camera off his lips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clowny, how you doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you over enunciate everything Clowney said? Oh, man. You know, Mr. Clowney was a character that came from pain, yeah. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Clowney was a puppet, but you know, I swear to God, that puppet came to life for me, man, okay? It but, became an obsession, okay, Bob? But, Claude, if Clowney was in the room right now, what do you suppose he would say? <laughs> <laughs> How would Clowney interpret what I'm saying right now? <laughs> well, Bob! <laughs> Uh, but listen, the, the point is that I do wear glasses. And yeah. the reason I wear the dark glasses, Why? I don't look good in a regular pair of frames. Uh huh. But I think if I went to Lens Crafter with 3,000 pair of frame because they have a 5,000 square foot store. Uh huh. All of their stores are 5,000 square feet. There's yes. over 3,000 frames. Now, if you go to, you see, you're laughing about this, yeah. but if you go to any other optometrist, maybe you get 100 frame, 200, At 300 most. frames. At, At the most. most. At the most. At the most. At the most. At most. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the thing is that... <laughs> yes. Yes. So... Yes. This is just a warm-up for tomorrow when the guy with the scent, the black guy from Police Academy comes yes. in. I bet you he's going to come in with his amplifier and his harmonizers and stuff. Can we have a he told me, I was sitting next to him on Hollywood Squares, he says, hey man, I won't use a harmonizer because then people won't think it's really me. <laughs> 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 
I should get it right. <laughs> <laughs> like people care. Anyway, the point is... I think people would like those computers uh, to make those noises anyway. Exactly. Huh? Not people. Yeah, who needs it? So big deal, you can make sounds. We got sound effects, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... You know what we could do, too? We could just, like, get, uh... Hey, Fred, give me a bunch of your sound effects. Sure. <laughs> and do you think people really think that in the middle of a Police Academy movie, he's really making those noises? Yeah, I'll say, like, uh, hey, what's his name again? <laughs> Michael. Hey, Michael, Michael Winslow, why don't you do some congas for us? Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he stop spitting on me, will you, pal? <laughs> and I mean it. While you're doing the congas, though, can you do a camera shutter? <laughs> and throw in a chainsaw and try not to spit on me? There you go. <laughs> now a car, cra a car crash. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to be too nutty in here. Anyway, the point is, when they get glasses and have them made up for you in an hour at Lens Crafter. Michael Winslow won't wear glasses, though, because people won't think it's him. That's right. They get confused. <laughs> yes. It might be a trick. <laughs> Let me give you the uh, locations for Lens Crafter. <laughs> uh, on Long Island, Huntington Station at Walt Whitman Mall, Lake Grove at Lomans Plaza, New York, Yonkers, New York at the Cross County Square Shopping Center, Fishkill, New York at the Duchess Mall. Lens Crafter can help you see your best with custom crafted glasses in about an hour. If not sooner. Thank you. I like I like when people have that breathy kind of relaxed way in the radio, you know. What are we doing next? <laughs> 934-923-K-Rocket-W-Y-S-P. Want to call Letterman Show or not? Sure, why not? It's up to you guys. Gilbert's thinking. I'm thinking. What do you think? Good I'm move thinking. Let or me bad see, I've got move. nothing to, to plug. <laughs> You're actually going to get to through to someone this time? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, David Letterman Show, please. That's 6645221. I'll connect you. Thank you. Is this for tickets, sir? No, this is Howard Stern. We're on the radio, please. Uh, please put me right through immediately. Okay. Thank you. Have to talk to Dave. To Dave. I told me, but get me through to his private line. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes
I mean, I know you don't. I know you wouldn't as an ethical thing. But if you absolutely had to, there would be a way for you to monitor a phone conversation. Well, we're saying if we sent you a financial gift, <laughs> would you be willing to, uh, I don't know, accidentally I'm leave... I'm not allowed to divulge information as a communication here. Sir. No, I absolutely understand that. Please, right. don't. I'm not asking for anything illegal. I'm not asking for any kind of thing like that. What I'm asking is that if theoretically now, a theoretical situation, if you were to be, let's say, putting a call through. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, you can hear when someone picks up on the other line. Am I correct? We cut out of the connection, sir, when the number starts to ring. But I'm saying, let's say, let's say you accidentally didn't cut out of the connection. You could theoretically listen in on a conversation. Am I correct? But, but we don't do that. Sir. No, of course you would not do that. Mm. What I am saying is that I can make your life very comfortable. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. <clears throat> Boy, would that be great if she yeah. could just connect us into somebody? Ooh. Could you connect us into Randy Bongarten's office and we can listen in on his phone calls? Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> While he's trying to unload some other stations. Yeah, we can listen to him selling off all the radio stations. <laughs> I got a 10,000 watt AM I'll day timer. Office again for you, all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she heard that $10,000. Yeah. Now I'm getting a busy on it. Ah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Well, if we just... Yes, as a matter of fact, I do want to hold on because Let's I'm very anxious. Let's up it to 15000 all right? No, you don't do it that way. You have to have some cool things. 15000 $15,000. Oh, this damn hay fever. 15000 Believe me, uh, how much do you make a year? Can I ask that? Not you, Gilbert, the no. woman. Ma'am? Hello? I'm still busy, sir. I will double what you make a year. Uh, what are they paying over there? About ten I grand. Give, I can't give you that information. Fifteen <laughs> grand, the tops. I can't. I can double it to thirty. Can grand. Make your life real cushy. Cushy, if you just put me through <laughs> and let me listen in. Does All Dick right. Ebersol ever come in there? Oh, Dick Ebersol. What about him? Does he have an office? We can't do that, sir. You want Mr. Ebersol's office? Yes. 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 Yeah, this is gonna be good. <laughs> now later on, I'm gonna call back on Letterman. Have you ever hosted Friday night videos? Yeah. As, as a matter of Not fact... Not Gilbert, the woman on the phone. I'll give you extension information for that name, sir. Hold Thank on. you very much. She's very... Now, 1-800-DORK. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes? Hold down one moment, sir. Yes. And what a lovely accent you have. She's Irish, Robin. I detect that. You know, I'm a master of accents, and I can tell <laughs> That's one of the characters you do, isn't it? Yes, I do an Irish character. He's very close to me. I don't want to talk about it right yeah. now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too too early, if he was but... in the room right now. Oh, he'd be upset. Yes, I am. Hello? Extension is ready. Information. Yes, information. This is Howard Stern. We're on the radio. Please don't say anything dirty. I, need I never to... say anything dirty. Thank you, officer. Well, could you try? Officer. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, I'm very freaked out this by authority. Even information. If it's not... Well, I'm freaked out by that. Um, can <laughs> I get the <laughs> listing for Dick? Well, how come I can't be put through to Dick Ebersole directly? Because we don't have a number here at NBC. Well, I'll come up with a better excuse. Is he unlisted? Who is this? It's Howard Stern. We're on the air. And Gilbert Gottfried and Robin. Goodbye. I'm going to hang up. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 I don't have no time for this foolishness. No, 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 no. Wait. It's not foolishness. I'm trying to get through to Dick Ebersole. He doesn't have an extension here. Oh, because she told me there was one. I don't care what she told you. She lied to me is what you're saying. You have no right to do that. Goodbye. What? Okay, goodbye. I have no right to do what? There what are so many what rules we do? these days. We have What did we do? What, yeah, I, you know, she should explain so we don't do it again. What did I do wrong? Well, I whatever it. We it had is, no you right have to do no that. right to do it. To call Dick Ebersol and actually want to speak to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have no right to do that. Absolutely, we have no right to do that. Yes. All right, listen, yes. I have not given up. Yes. We'll, get, we'll take a few commercials. Okay. Come back <laughs> and finally get an answer. Maybe she'll be on her lunch break. You know, I don't want to say conspiracy here, but I think yeah. everyone's been alerted to my calling and they're not putting I have no time for this foolishness yeah, I don't think we have any right to do that quite frankly she's right she does have <laughs> no time for that foolishness. we'll be back right after this I'd like to talk to you about smokes that whole have evening. to go home and talk to the family yeah <laughs> gotta save it for that so you yell <laughs> but Vincent, more important you know this is a special announcement in a way Gilbert, you do a lot of traveling with your nightclub act. And yes, I just love it. You traveled to Caroline's and yes. back home again. Yes. Uh, Giggles, isn't he going out somewhere? Hampton Bay. Far away. Yeah. yeah. Wackies. <laughs> Wackies by the sea. <laughs> <laughs>
giggles, yuck, yuck. You said to me <laughs> that the reason that you never get any luggage at E. Vincent is because they were at Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City, Bell Boulevard in Bayside, and Walt Whitman Mall in Huntington. But now I have a special announcement just for you, Gilbert. Uh -huh. There is a new E. Vincent store opening up in Manhattan. It's open now on the corner of 58th Street and 6th Avenue in Manhattan. And E. Vincent is there, and they have great luggage. And I know you're saying, ah, I don't need luggage. You do need luggage. It's I so do great. need luggage because i got to work uh, like the new giggle, hee-hee, ha-ha comedy room. That's right. In Chicago, I believe yes. you're going. <laughs> e. Vincent. They beat any legitimate price on any product in their store. They have really low prices. When you walk into the new E. Vincent, or any of the E. Vincents for that matter, you're going to see a lot of stuff, and you're going to go, uh, this is all too expensive for me. This is expensive luggage. It's expensive luggage. Well, stop yawning. I'm this. yawning. I'm sorry. I know it's boring. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry to keep you awake. Gilbert. I'm sorry. Yes. I apologize. <laughs> All right, I'll do it for you. you ready? Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. I get nervous when I do that around Gilbert. Well, that's why Gilbert was going to sleep. That's you right. Yeah, that it. woke me up. I was waiting for that little cousin Bursey <laughs> yell. Gilbert revealed to me during the commercials he's a pedophile. Yes. Enjoys really? eight-year-old girls. Yes. And well, I don't usually like him that old. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I say if you're eight, call me, and if you're below eight, call Joe Piscopo. That's it. Roosevelt Field Mall, Garden City, Bell Boulevard, Bayside. Probably living with Joe Piscopo if you're below eight, but. <laughs> Walt Whitman Mall on 58th Street and 6th Avenue, Manhattan. Yeah, you're just jealous. You would like a young girlfriend. Boy. Gilbert would like an infant. Lose his uh, funny ability if he was dating that Kimberly. He wouldn't be as funny as he No, he today. wouldn't. No. no, but then I'd be, I, I could go on shows and tell how I'm friends with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 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 well, you know, me and Eddie are just great friends. You know, we're just, just good friends. Well, you know, Joe Piscopo must be really upset with Arsenio Hall. <laughs> oh, that, he's, he's taken over the friend slot. Yeah. Yes, he has. It used to be Joe who made statements for Eddie. Yeah, now it's Arsenio. Now Arsenio. Well, you know, everyone's fighting over him. Fox wants him Eddie for the Maffin. talk show. Eddie Maffin. Eddie Maffin. Well, everyone wants him for the talk show. Fox wants yes. him. Now he's being pulled over by, you know, Paramount. Paramount and, and, yeah. You know, it's just, he's so in demand. Yes. He's so talented. He's such a super talent. Major. Yeah. Major. You know him? I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a guy called in said Abby Hoffman did his stand up last night and it, mostly the most most of the stand up was about fifty percent just making remarks about me and people from the audience asking questions about me. Really? Yeah. Well, it's supposed <laughs> to be reviewed tonight on Live at Five. So I'm oh, is that interested. right? Abby Hoffman. So they yes. they got to mention me then, <laughs> even though Live at Five doesn't mention me because they, because they play it so dangerously on the edge. That's right. I've been looking for that edge. Yeah. As, uh, you know, that, that memo said they were going to add a little more danger to the show. I've been watching. I haven't seen it yet. Wait, you didn't see Jack Caffrey jump out a window the other night? <sighs> I saw Sue Simmons interview Mitch Blood Green. That, that's, that's pretty, pretty dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> didn't they have Sue up front at one of those Italian air shows <laughs> in Germany? She's trying to get her right up front. When the Italian Air Force comes over? <laughs> that is dangerous, yeah. too. There's another guy who uh, gave us Dick Ebersol's phone number at No Sleep Productions. I don't know. You really want to call him? I don't think so. Let's call up Susan St. James. Let's let's ask what's the latest season of Kate and Allie and if they're going to find a new boyfriend on the show. And Yeah. I don't know. Let's call up Cagney and Lacey and See what's her name if she's gonna have an abortion or get drunk or or, or, <laughs> or be or, raped. What, yeah, what's gonna yeah. get raped, have a miscarriage, yeah, you know. <laughs> God forbid she goes out and does a day's worth of police work. <laughs> yes. Well anyway, you wanna do some news and then uh sure. this woman's trying for an Emmy so bad. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sitting here yes. reading yes. an article. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that will be pertinent to all men. Uh-huh. A pill for impotence. Gilbert. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll order a few jars right now. <laughs> Early tests of the pill form of a drug used to help impotent men achieve an erection uh -huh. indicates that the pill is safer, more convenient, and just as effective. Let me, let me comment on impotence. <laughs> okay. All right. There's no way a, a guy who can't get it up, if you put him in a room with, let's say, uh, Raquel Welsh, okay? Let me mm -hmm. give you an example of a yeah. beautiful woman, right? Okay. You put her in a room naked. There's no way a guy couldn't get it up. Now, 
You're going to say, well, wait a second. I bet you there are guys you could put them in a room with a naked young girl, like Joe Piscopo's girlfriend or something, and they wouldn't get it up. They are homosexuals. Oh. If you can't get it up, you're a homosexual. Let me ask yeah. you a question. You're a queen. Now, let's say there are 5% of the people who have impotence who have medical problems. Oh, right. That's right? what like I'm going to Like diabetes. Mm -hmm. What they need is not another drug to pump into their systems just so they can achieve an erection. That's the last thing they need. They need to get their health together. It's usually these fat slobs, these big overweight horse cows <laughs> who can't get it up because they don't watch their weight. All of a sudden, years of eating chocolate yes. bars and milkshakes, and all of a sudden, 30 years later, when they're these big obese pigs, they're crying, everyone. They can't get it up. Well, of course you can't get it They've up. They've got a stomach in the way. You're not functioning yes. is what the problem is. You're not, none of your, your, your whole body isn't yes. functioning. But all of a sudden it's a great mystery to them. They don't care that they can hardly breathe. They just care their penis can't get erect. So when you look at that candy bar, just think uh -huh. this may one day cost you... Not necessarily just a candy bar, Robin, but you know, the whole thing. And the, all that junk, yeah. Yeah. when you're yes. stuffing it into yeah. your face. Nice. Irreverently, just think about it. But that. you got to laugh at these guys who complain that they can't get it up. Well, there's only one of two problems. There's, there can only be either you're a homosexual, <laughs> or you're overweight, or you're both. All right, let's just say for the for the. Uh... Let's call Craig from the window factory. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the point of argument, yeah. let's just say that yeah. you got a normal-sized guy... Go ahead. ...who has been able to get it up in the past. Go ahead. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... Like Sandy Becker. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, perfect no example. Yeah. what he does... Norton, Norton. Norton, Norton. no matter who you put in the room, it just won't happen. He's in the room with one. Eva Giefer. <laughs> well, yes. no, you're just saying just point. some guy. You're yes. giving me a hypothetical? Yes. Do me a favor. You're overloading my circuits. This is a very heavy question. i got to take a break. And we come back. You want? I'll give you a prime. Now, movie. what I want to know what this stroke does? Just send blood anywhere, or uh, <laughs> just right to the penis? How, how does this pill know where to send the blood to? I don't know, but it causes causes blood vessels to expand, and oh, that should yes. be good for you. Your head will explode. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like scanners. Listen, let's take I mean, a break. How does this pill know you where to send the blood to? You think that pill is healthy for you? So big deal, you get an erection. You look like you're half dead. <laughs> Don't Maybe your arms think. will swell up. Robin, you're saying that they've developed a pill that will only send blood into the penis? That's what it sounds you're like. You're saying that. How does this pill know? How does it know your penis from your arm? <laughs> I don't even know that. <laughs> Come here, I want to hold hands They're with together. you. They're <laughs> together. All right, listen, we got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. What? Dory liquidation sale. And that's today. going on now, because I know he was closed yesterday. I was right, over there. closed all day yesterday. All right. So go over to Crazy Eddie. His prices are insane. Nutrisystem. Oh, the Nutrisystem girls are here. Oh, well, oh, that's good. And then I want to get back to the coincidence. I want to get back to that news story after oh, this. Oh, definitely. Because we I want to see if those it. girls can send blood to my penis. <laughs> well, we're going to find out in a minute. <laughs> I know they sent blood to uh, Norton North's penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the girls in here. Viva Las Girls. Yes, I understand a woman is here today who lost a lot of weight. We're going to find yeah. out more a about it. A woman? Her. All right. Yeah, a woman. He's wearing a leopard outfit. A leopard outfit? That could send blood to my penis. No, that's not a Certainly woman. more than that pill could. That's oh, no yeah. Woman. Oh, that's, wait, a woman. that's a woman. That's a woman, yes. Hey, well, here, come on over to that microphone. Now, what do you got? Two people here. There's a guy and a girl. Who lost weight? Who lost the weight? You? Yep. Wow. I'm hoping for a hairy belly on this one. No, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. So who's the guy? Her agent? Wait a second. Is this a picture of you? Yes. That's you? Robin, Let when I show you a picture of what this girl used to look like, this is the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Are you, like, thrilled? very attractive. Definitely. You are. woman. How tall are you? Five, eight and a half. What are you wearing? What kind of heels? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I'm looking at your body. I cannot believe this. How long did it take you to lose the weight? Six months. How much weight did you lose? Fifty pounds. Oh, my Robin, goodness. Robin, you're not going to believe it. And you're so pretty. Look That's you. you. Thank you. You didn't bring us someone else's picture. Is your, are you flabby under there, or are you tight? A little flabby. <laughs> no. Wait a second. Oh, no. that's impossible. Robin, take a look at this. This is impossible. <laughs> she has no fat on her. How could she be are flabby? Are guys, like, coming on to you like crazy now? No. That Wait a minute. Friend. You're talking about the woman in the white is her, right? No, I'm talking about the, the short, <laughs> fat woman is her. <laughs> oh, stop it. Well, who's she standing next to? A giant? No, she's on a step, I guess. Oh, she's on a step, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. No. How long ago was this picture? You have lost an incredible... I mean, you are a sexy woman now. Thank you. Are you flipping out over this? I love it. Best thing I could have done for myself. I'm going to ask you a question now. Yeah. How old are you? 
21. Before you lost all that weight, were you a virgin? Yes. <laughs> and now you've lost your virginity since you're on the Nutrisystem Weight Loss Program, am I correct? Have you? Now she's a slut. No. <laughs> Have you lost your virginity? Tell the truth. God. Is this your boyfriend? No. He's out waiting out there. Your boyfriend? Get your boyfriend. Yeah, let's get see your boyfriend. What she got when did you get when did you get the boyfriend? Way. Three years ago. Oh, three years ago. So, oh, so this is when you were still the other way. She so aren't you gonna? But she couldn't get close to him. Aren't you gonna lose the guy now? I mean, now you're really good no. looking. You could probably get a lot better looking boyfriend. Let's see what she has. See, now you could probably dump him. You've got the leopard outfit and the hair and everything. She yeah. could get Gilbert. Uh -oh. That's the boyfriend. Hey, are you like freaking out that you got like a good looking yeah. girlfriend now? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, are you like flipping out now? Oh yeah. You were smart to grab her when she was fat. I saw the potential. You really did. Yeah. You gonna stick with him? Yep. And now you're pro now he's probably like a jealous guy, right? And he runs around. A little bit. <laughs> oh man. What does he do for a living? I don't know if he's good enough. For Robin, her. don't insult him. That's Norton Nort. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Norton Art, you guys? Eh, nobody remembers. <laughs> I guess you gotta be in your thirties to know that one. Giba Giba? No? <laughs> Claude Kirshner? <laughs> Clowny? Anyone remember Clowny? <laughs> Anyone remember Clowny? Do you remember Froggy and uh, Andy Devine? Plucky Magic Twanger? Nah, I must be getting old. Hiya, 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 gang. So you're 21 years old? <laughs> I can't believe... Do you believe your girlfriend, man? Do you, like, walk around now when old guys are checking her out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this Just is when he must feel like... Way here. He's, like, peeking, you know, behind his newspaper. Yeah. Guys are peeking, right. Yeah. Let me see your body again? I don't oh. believe it. And look at your breasts. Oh. What cup size are you? <laughs> D. D? Oh. You, wait a second. Let me see. Those aren't Ds. Yeah, they are. Those are Ds? And you're thin like this now? Take your blouse off. <laughs> Just for a second. It's okay, isn't it? If you're a boyfriend. Do you mind if we see? Nah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, she doesn't want to. <laughs> she was a virgin when she met. Boy, I wouldn't need the pill for this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've already got blood to my eye. Yeah. <laughs> no, the blood's rushing there already. <laughs> See? Gilbert's getting lightheaded. Boy, <laughs> Gilbert's no homo. blood vessel pills for this. Oh, I can't believe this. You have D cups? What do you weigh now? One thirty-one. Wow, and you're very tall. You're in your hundred eighties, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So you love new. Did you hear about Nutrisystem on our show? That's he heard it. And that's how I found your out. Your boyfriend heard about it. And he said to you, "Geez, you know." That's you... why I decided to come on because I wanted to thank you. Really. You look beautiful. Thank you. Look at your boyfriend. I bet you're sorry in the way you had her do this because now uh, she's probably a lot of guys are coming. I'm gonna leave you. Look at how she's dressed now. Uh, she never used to dress like that. She's gonna wear a leather miniskirt here. Yeah, what happened? Oh. Didn't want to uh, provoke the animals. You know? Gilbert, lend her your miniskirt. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Here, let me Gilbert, see you would go out with her, right? Reach the zipper in the back. Gilbert, in a minute, right? In a second. In a second, boy. Ask her. Yeah. Ask her out. Boy. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the boyfriend. Boy, because the blood's rushing there. <laughs> What's your boyfriend do? What are you, a diesel mechanic? Uh, what do you do? I go to school, college. You go to school? Co you're a college what boy? What do you to be? What do you want to be? A mustache groomer? A musician. You gotta shave that mustache off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah his is worse than mine. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even have one. <laughs> and, uh, you wanna be a musician? You gonna go to college to study to be a musician? Nah, just get my degree, you know? PhD. PhD what in what? What kind of music does his band play? Music? What do you play? Heavy metal? Uh, yeah, metal. What do you play? Rush? Rush music? Uh, nah. What, nah. Bon Jovi you like? Nah. Whatever. Original music, I'll bet. Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden you like? Ah. And you follow him around and... Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. You look dynamite. Thank you. I would love to see you with your top off. There's any chance that you want to get crazy. Now, Cheryl, that's a success story, all right? <laughs> How is it when you two make love now? Is it fabulous? <laughs> really, tell the truth. Uh, tell the truth. Is say it, it slowly, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your pants back on, girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing very tight pants, you know. No, and they just got tight see, in the I last five minutes. I don't see any on her, Robin. No, she looks very, oh, yeah. very... Are you on maintenance now? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you are skinny. You're a skinny person. Thank you. Were you a fat person uh, yes. all your life? Mm. Always, since third grade. You're it's kidding. amazing. It's a really amazing. So you, you didn't even know you looked like this. <laughs> you had no idea you were this good looking, right? <laughs> Can you imagine how different your life would have been if you had started Nutrisystem five years ago? I know. So you love Nutrisystem. What's your favorite meal? Uh, 
salad, pizza. Pizza. You like the pizza. Mm -hmm. See, and you're still eating all your favorite foods. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest program, I tell you. All right. Why are you munching on those crumbs from Gilbert's <laughs> roll? <laughs> He's, she's going to follow Gilbert home. Yeah, really. doing that. Just keep leading those crumbs. <laughs> but uh, you look dynamite in your leopard blouse. Now, who's this other guy you brought with you? You lost weight, too? Yeah, I did. 50 pounds. 50? Look how good you look. Yeah, this is right. unbelievable. <laughs> You've lost 100 pounds? Between, Between the two of Yes, that's right, 100 pounds. Isn't that something? Oh, the two of you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> two of you yourself. should be a couple. You've lost so much. Really? <laughs> Don't tell me now, guys. Uh, must. Where do you work? Do you work somewhere? Yeah, I cut hair in uh, West Isop Innovations. You cut hair? Mm-hmm. So don't tell me guys don't come into the shop now and look you over. Uh, I'll tell the truth. I guess so. Um, yeah. Are you going to go out with any of them? Are you going to yeah. stick with this guy? Yeah, you want to marry him? him? You gonna marry him? Not right now, maybe later. See, now she's thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. See, because this Before guy. Before she was gonna jump it. Now she's going. Nah, I don't know. Too I... young for that. Just think. Yeah. Gilbert, okay. Gilbert, a year ago you could have nailed her for a Hershey bar. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're, now you're gonna have to wait online like the rest of us. No, no. Now he's gotta get a haircut. That is sick. <laughs> yeah, go get a haircut, pal. <laughs> You know, because his boyfriend looks a little dangerous. Like he, like now, he's gonna go out and like kill somebody right. if they go near his girl. Because now he's gonna be. You're not gonna be insanely jealous now, are you? Like, is this the best looking girl you ever had? I mean, because you were going out with her when she was fat. She's got to be saying to herself, "Oh, he's only good enough for a fat woman." <laughs> Wait so, till she gets used to this new body. She's no, been yeah. Had it for a little Wait while. till she just realizes when unbelievable like rich guys start hitting on her. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna lose her. Uh, no. No. All right, we'll see. She doesn't realize. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's just saying that now. She's afraid of him. <laughs> well, anyway, listen, congratulations. Sometimes weight loss can be dangerous. The sense that your whole life changes. It, All could, of a sudden, be, it could be tough on a relationship. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at her. I mean, look at this body on her with D cups <laughs> and a thin waistline. Look at Gary peering into her. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking. I tell you, I love it. Well, what are you going to do? Well, certainly, congratulations to the two of you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. And to that other guy, too, who lost 50 pounds. Oh, hell with him. What do you do for a living? Work for the phone company. Oh, yeah? And, oh, that's cool. And I also own a beauty shop. You own a beauty shop? <laughs> well, that's an interesting little... Uh... <laughs> Keep them busy. <laughs> Keep them busy, yeah. So how do you divide your time? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mogul. Oh, like a white, a white trash Donald Trump. You know. No, really, what do you mean? You own a beauty shop and... Yeah. Uh, because it's kind of hard to divide. Yeah, I, work, I work out here in Manhattan. Yeah, you, company, you do your phone company my thing. my wife runs the beauty store. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't care. Yeah. Huh. I'm scared of him, Robin. Oh, <laughs> he works at the... What does he do for the phone company? Yeah. He what installs. Do you, what do you do? You do the hair at the phone company? Or? <laughs> yeah, do you also you, cut hair? Are you a hair yeah. cutter as well? No, not me. I just do all the behind-the-scenes work. I see. All the paychecks. I see. Well, congratulations to you. You're you. very successful, man. <laughs> All right, listen. That's uh, what success looks like, folks. There it is. <laughs> the ironic thing is we're laughing at him, and he makes more money than all of us. <laughs> That's the ironic thing. <laughs> you, but you got a bunch of hair cutters working for you, too. Oh, yeah. Huh. yeah. What's popular now? The shag? Is that uh, all out? Oh, Nobody perms. Does? Perm is popular? Yeah, curly. Yeah. Curly hair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, certainly that's fascinating. And staying ahead of those trends. Yes, you're really on top of things. I like to see that. You like to make the hair as curly as a phone wire, is that it? That's it. I see, that's your slogan. What does he, I really want to know what he does for the phone company. <laughs> yeah, what do you do for the phone company? Uh, repair phones. Now, who did your hair, Helen Keller? <laughs> <laughs> really, who did your hair? What kind of hair do you have? Like he's got like one of those, an, uh, he's got black man's hair mm -hmm. with uh, like some kind of grease in grease it. Grease in it, yes. Moose. It's moose. Where's a moose? Yep. It's all shiny. <laughs> hey, what is that all about? Why do you put moose and make your afro shiny? No, it just keeps it in place. Otherwise, it <laughs> otherwise it, it looks like out. a normal hair. Right. Billy right. <laughs> Preston. I see. Well, you look good. No, you have a nice look. Right. Yeah. Well, isn't that interesting? This is the guy you call when your phone breaks and he never shows up. Exactly. Because <laughs> he's so running a hairdressing that's salon. That's right. <laughs> Is that true? You're so busy with your hair salon, you don't have time to go make calls? Oh, I never get a cut. Nope. No. Okay. Never. All right, listen, enough of you guys. we got to get back to the guy with the penis in his blood. Yes. Right. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, the picture. Wow, you look great. You look dynamite, man. You, you Both of you look great. Congratulations, and congratulations to you, the boyfriend. When you run your hands over her naked body now, is it like awesome? He thinks he's with a different woman. Is it like being with a different woman? What's that? Is it like being with a different woman? Oh, yeah. Yeah? 
And like you now you take her to concerts and stuff, and, you, and when you play your gigs, do you? Right now, I want a pill to make the blood leave my penis. <laughs> it's just uh... do you have one of those, Robin? <laughs> Do you have a some kind of? You have a jar of that. In they there. haven't gotten yeah. to that one yet. No, but in all seriousness, do you uh, do you bring her now to places that you never used to bring her? Like your friends are all. Do you, all your friends comment on her now? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, they all want her now, right? <laughs> Probably. Before they were like, "What is he out of his mind?" And now all of a sudden. That's <laughs> nuts before, right? Yeah. All right. Well, he loves her for her personality. Well, that's true. She you knows she has true love there. All right. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Get the Nutrisystem Weight Loss Program. Oh, let me give the phone number: seven one eight. 896-4200. If you don't join up now, you're out of your mind. Because right. this is amazing. Two very good looking people. Okay. Come on. Hey, Gary, don't you know how to usher people out the door? I've said goodbye 37 times. He's, he's still Sorry, staring into those spots. Let me see her butt. He's <laughs> <laughs> busy looking at her. See, before you wouldn't have had to ask. She was so big. But. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me see her butt. You couldn't help it. <laughs> wow. Didn't th hey, come on, wasn't that, that amazing? That was incredible. That was incredible. That was a real transformation. Yeah, she didn't look too smart. She looks like she's going to gain it right back. <laughs> no, they have maintenance on Nutrisystem. That's right. That's right. Well, anyway, Robin, you were saying something about now. Yes, there's, there's now, we were about drug. to ask the question. There's a new drug. Now, how does the blood know where to go? You were saying the Bentolamine blood... Bentolamine is the drug. Bentolamine? Yeah. Now, I mean, it could rush to your ears or something. How does I it know where know your penis is located? It knows where to go, what to affect. See, so a sexy woman, your nose grows like a like Pinocchio. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, it was once used to treat certain types of adrenal tumors. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. you know, yes. your adrenals, If uh, for you who don't know, uh, that refers to your kidneys. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Also, it rushes into that part of the area, the, other, the kidneys, and then The it kidney area, yes. Your adrenal glands are in your kidney somewhere. That's funny. I thought those were in the back of your skull. Those are the pituitary. Yeah. Mm. Stop confusing me. Somebody get a medical diagram. You know, this is like the thermos. Charges. This is like the thermos of medicine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the thermos knows when things are hot and cold. Yes. It knows how to keep it. It knows when to keep things hot and when to keep things cold. And this this drug somehow knows to ignore the whole body and just and go, go to the right genitals. To the rush, that's right. Rush to that area. Yes. So anyway, that's what it does. It just uh, opens up the blood vessels there. Wow. And uh, the guys are finding success. Eureka. And researchers have found that uh, the pill form is not strong enough to cause priapism, yes. which sometimes occurred with the injection. And do you know what that is? Mm, yeah. Yeah, bubble, but just bubble so in your penis. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I can't talk. I've got a bubble on my penis. <laughs> a, blood clot. a blood clot in your penis. That was, you know, a prolonged symptom of the drug, you know, that it wouldn't go away. Oh, I see. Wouldn't go away? Wouldn't go away. I think you'd be pretty damn popular. <laughs> I think that's the pill you'd be looking for. Imagine your life is so bad that you got to take a pill to get an erection. I mean, why, why bother? Why bother with life? Well, at least 10 million men suffer from this. You know, my whole my whole sex life is sort of like that pill. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, every night I go to bed, I ignore my body and go right to my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. It's, so no, you're but, just like that uh, drug. So what do you say now? There's hope for guys who have uh, well, impotence problems. these problem. 10 million men who have chronic erectile dysfunction. Erectile? <laughs> <laughs> I had my whole bathroom fixed that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it costs a lot. Gilbert, but make a lot of jokes about some poor guy out there who can't get it on. Who can't get a dinky. Yeah. That's right, a dinky. A dinky. That's it. <laughs> Radio is a marvelous thing. It can reduce any man to using words a that he uses in his body. A yeah. dinky. Yeah. Well, let's but, hope that that pill gets... Uh, now, what were the other stuff they used? Don't they have all those weird pumps that well, they... Yeah, uh, they the Johnny Watt Holmes pump? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 No, remember they had the implants where they could uh, put that this you little pump tube it with air. They in have your one that you pump with air. Dinky, yes, and then in they your put dinky. this <laughs> well, let me pump tell you something. in your stomach. Women, and you have to press your stomach. I know women really <laughs> dig that. Women really like when you sit and press your stomach just to get an erection. It, it really turns them on. It's not, it's not hard enough to find a woman nowadays. You finally convince her you don't have AIDS, you don't have herpes, and yeah. you go in and you start pumping your stomach up. <laughs> I mean, you know, come what on. What is wrong? Yeah, you. forget it. You're not going to score. There's no point in having an erection. Meanwhile, out in Palm Springs, California, there's a lot of controversy because mayor... People are taking pills no, no, no. for their dinkies. Mayor yeah. Sonny Bono. Uh-oh. Who takes that pill? 
<laughs> it was a and it's abuser. done no good. <laughs> yeah. Says he's been flying first class for 30 years. Uh oh. And now he wants. <laughs> There's something wrong with first class. <laughs> Then they got to create a new class. <laughs> yeah. Now, he wants the city to foot the bill so his wife and his infant son can travel the world with him while he promotes the desert resort first class. All right. And some residents have criticized this because right now uh, they're trying to decide whether to continue a utility tax to avoid a deficit. So they don't want to send the mayor and his family around on these first class junkets. Junkets, yeah. But uh, there you have it. He says he's used to that, and he shouldn't have to uh, have his family sitting back there in coach when they go around to promote Palm Springs. How about leaving your family home, bonehead? And, uh, <laughs> no, that's Bono. Bono. Why don't you go leave your family home? It's a business trip. Can't you go out anywhere without your family? Well, of course not. The whole point of a business trip is to, to go leave somewhere. family at home. So you can pick up a new broad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go over Cher's place. Yeah. <laughs> Get it on with her and Camaletti. I think this is really interesting. Uh, Burt Reynolds waited all this time yes. to get married. Yes. But the reason he finally decided to get married was because he wanted to have children. And now he discovers that Lonnie Anderson is incapable. Oh, she is. Like, she didn't know that before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. now she says they're looking to adopt. Oh, that'll be good. So let's see. Bert will be 107 when the kid's 20. <laughs> well, you know, he looked at her one day and he said, um, Lonnie, at 52, do you think I'll be able to get used to the noise of a child? So I think he's ready for fatherhood. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll be fine. It'll be more like grandfatherhood. <laughs> it's really necessary that a Burt Reynolds... So, you know, the kid can come on the set and, and gratify his ego. Right. I hope it's not a Vietnamese kid. That's become the popular thing. Well, yeah. apparently... That wouldn't look good. Yeah, every celebrity has a Vietnamese adopted child. No, Sally Struthers has half the Viet Cong in her bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting everyone confused with Mia Farrow because she I has see. all the Oriental children adopted. So in what America. is he saying that Burt Reynolds is going to all of a sudden come up with a white baby? Yeah, because uh, the baby hasn't been born yet, but uh, obviously they have some white woman stashed away who's yeah. about to give birth. <laughs> Figures like Burt Reynolds will be able to pay off some white woman. Yeah. You know, like his personal corner. I guess he won't be hearing from her for the rest of his life. Right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 Okay. So that's what's happening here. They're going to adopt. And Lonnie, of course, she says, oh, I'm still trying to conceive mm. on mm. my own. And, you know, maybe after I adopt. I'll get pregnant. She only has a 23-year-old daughter. Sure, she's ready to give birth again. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, those those fallopian tubes aren't filled with cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's she going to nurse with? Yeah, right. <laughs> Bert's nipple. <laughs> Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Oh, boy. Yeah, right. They, they should be parents. They, you know, there's only 30 billion young couples waiting to have a white baby, but yeah. Bert and Lonnie are right at the top of the list. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah, 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 yeah right, yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah. of yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 childbirth, uh -huh. remember the teenage mother who made headlines nationwide when a judge convicted her of child abuse and sentenced her to a life of birth control? Yes. Well, she's pregnant again. <laughs> And she's giving the baby to Bert and Lonnie. <laughs> hey, yeah. Surprise, surprise, surprise. What's your name, Mrs. Delabete? Oh. <laughs> Deborah Ann Forrester is pregnant. <laughs> didn't I sentence Gary's mother to a life of birth control? <laughs> she didn't listen either. <laughs> <laughs> the judge said, I thought you were joking, and I don't know what this woman was using for birth control, but surely they didn't trust her with the pill. Right. Which pill are we talking about? <laughs> the, the pill that sends blood, blood to the penis. Yes. That area. Yeah. But but anyway, the judge says, well, since no birth control device is 100% foolproof, right. she's not going to revoke Forrester's lifetime probation. Well, that's outrageous. But uh, they are going to try to decide. At one point, the uh, attorneys had dragged this woman into court to try to make the judge decide whether abortion was a form of birth control. I'm sure, so it they is. Could force her to have an abortion. Absolutely. The judge said, "You're not getting me into that." Yeah, no method's going to work. They should have tried crazy glue on her. <laughs> <laughs> Blew her right up.
This woman pleaded guilty April 4th to leaving her sons, 18 months old and 6 months old, alone for three days in an apartment without air conditioning when the temperatures hit the 90s. Oh, everybody today wants air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I was growing up, I never had any. <laughs> the two children, along with a third child she had this year, were placed in foster homes. There you go. And she signed them up for adoption. So I wonder what she'll do with this one. Bert Lonnie listening? <laughs> Bert and Lonnie. I'm telling you. And it just... Uh... They can go pick up the kids at that house. <laughs> yeah. They They've say, got air conditioning. Yeah, we've got air conditioning. Come, Come on, on, kids. Come Let's on. go to our house. <laughs> you know, Bert was in a lot of movies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they have air conditioning. Mm, yeah, Ned, Uncle Ned Beatty's coming over tomorrow. <laughs> Out of. We're going to play Deliverance with Uncle Ned. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, Uncle Charles Nelson Riley is coming by with <laughs> Uncle Dom DeLuise. <laughs> We're going to Jupiter. What fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A young, but these are kids here. Dr. Burt. Looks just like you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> give us a vest, give us a vest, give us a vest. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It turns out that our forefathers weren't so, um... Our forefathers? They weren't such prudes either, apparently. Oh, really? Uh, at least a third of the women who went to the altar back in the Revolutionary War days were pregnant when oh, they yes. got there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because so they took that pill. Some blood to their penis. <laughs> yeah. uh, apparently, it was part of normal, serious courtship to have premarital sex back mm. in Revolutionary times. And prolonged sexual abstinence could was considered to be injurious to your health. Who are these, the forefathers? <laughs> yes, our uh, forefathers, the guys who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Oh, my forefathers. Rob, you had forefathers. No wonder you had your parents. <laughs> I'd hate my parents, too, if I had forefathers. Stop it. All right. This was published in um, American Heritage Magazine. Yes, the early American settlers were not such prudes. They ran around, had sex willy-nilly, and, uh... That's a pretty heavy statement to make, Robin. They didn't <laughs> even have a, a pill to send blood to you. <laughs> marriages. So, uh, it wasn't until later that they started becoming more, uh, morally correct and, I see. Uh, straight-laced. So, don't say that our forefathers were, um, prudes. Gilbert. So yeah. the settlers got laid more than I do. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, right. yeah, that's, that's a lovely <laughs> thought to think about. <laughs> what they were saying. <laughs> <And> <laughs> These are settlers who spent all day building log cabins, and they got laid more than I do. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. They were running around getting it. Yes. Gilbert, you while you're not. Yes. 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 Yes.
At least what they smoked wasn't attached to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what you're smoking. Uh, you know, well, know. maybe those those AIDS patients were taking that pill. They couldn't help them. Exactly. Oh. Blood was rushing to the area. Exactly. <laughs> well, speaking of blood eat. rushing to the area. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of blood will be rushing to the area of Caroline. Caroline's the by the seaport. Yes. Tonight, tonight and Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, two shows. Wednesday tonight, one show. two shows. And you'll be at Laughs Comedy Club in Hampton Bay very soon. Yeah, but tonight, Caroline's. And tomorrow night. Two shows. Two shows at Caroline's. Two shows. Uh, you got me. You'd have to call. But you'll Seaport, be there. Caroline, Seaport, two shows. Wednesday, right. one show tonight. And Gilbert is the funniest, as no, everyone he is. knows. Where is that? At Caroline's. Caroline's, uh, one show tonight, two tomorrow. <laughs> Well, a lot of people want to hear some Paul Simon. They've been calling in. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I like to mellow out. Make yeah. Him wait. Make them wait. I'll play, I'll play Paul Simon. All right. Nope, Jimmy has an I, agenda. Uh, yeah, Jimmy He's a friend of Lawn Michaels. Paul Jimmy Simon. wants me to, of course, uh, play commercials. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. My favorite part of the show. And I think I'll be rushing into Tom's office for a meeting right about now after this blood rushing business. <laughs> so he can lecture me on why we talked about blood rushing. <laughs> I was supposed to disguise the word penis into some other word. Uh, dinky. 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 Yeah. dinky. Right. Blood rushing into their dinky. <laughs> As opposed to penis. I don't know. I give up. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, you... supposed to say Dick Ebersole. Dick, Dick yeah. Ebersole. <laughs> Instead of Dinky. We'll be appearing with Jackie the Joke Man Martling tomorrow night at Rascals by the Shore at Ocean <laughs> Township, New Jersey. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at Governor's Comedy Shop in Stanford, Connecticut. The new governors. Also, Scott the Engineer, Labor Day weekend, September 3rd and 4th at Marco Polo's in the Poconos. At the Hidu Chut. <laughs> and hopefully, Gary will be at his sink, wire brushing his cap. Oh, dear. It's, uh, Anyway, uh, Gilbert, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And, uh, More than a pleasure. More than a pleasure, that's right. Where will you be tonight again? Ah, tonight, Caroline's, <laughs> and tomorrow night, uh, two shows. All right. What the hell? Plug myself shamelessly <laughs> on the air. And uh, why don't you give me a commercials, Jimmy, before you lead Gilbert it, into another bit. Okay. Okay. Michelob. Let's let's hear some Paul Simon. Isn't he friends with Lorne Michaels in that group? You didn't yes. Lauren? Lauren did an excellent job with those Emmys, huh? Oh, boy. That's the thing to say now. Love it. Oh, well, he did an excellent job. Excellent job. Excellent. Let's, let's see. Who, who's that whole friendship bunch? There's Paul Simon, Lauren Michaels. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Woody Allen. Oh, that's no. right. That's Is another friend there? of Lauren Michaels? Well, it's, it's close enough. Even if they're not friends, it's that same restaurant. Oh, same see. restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to shut Gilbert up. I'm huh. sorry. Let's mention that movie he's in, Hot to Try. Hot to Try. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Great movie. Well, you know something? If that horse was in the room now... <laughs> what would you say? I, well, I felt sensitive about the horse because... Will you be on Bob Costas' show? Will you be a part of that? Yes, yes. I'll be showing clips from Hot to Trot. All right. <laughs> yes. All right, 1031. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. And uh, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Namaste. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? What? Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett. I Namaste. Namaste, New York. He had his... Uh, he, Alex Bennett, who's in San Francisco now ripping me off, he... Um, <laughs> He's now. He used to do a sign off. Namaste, New York. Namaste. And a lot of disc jockeys had a sign off. Oh, like Tony Pig still has a sign off. Yeah. Tony Pig refuses. What is his sign off? Tony Pig saying nothing but thanks. Saying nothing but thanks. This is Tony Pig. Guy just played records for four hours. He's got to have a sign off. Well, the and one. And do you remember? Uh, may you live for a hundred years minus a day, so I'll never know that lovely people like you passed away. Joey Adams? Frankie Crocker. All right. Oh. Did yeah. you really say that? Yes. Well, may, I like um... may, may Oh, may you live for a hundred years, may I live for a hundred minus a day, so I won't know that lovely people like you have passed away. And he'd always do it over an intensely strong disco beat, right? Yes. Wow. May you live a hundred years. You know, I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> my sign off, of course, the blood is rushing. <laughs> to my penis. <laughs> to my penis. So <laughs> to I my have dinky. To get out of it. So I have to get out of it. Mine would have to be to my dinky. Hold, yes. hold it. You can't re forget Roscoe. What did he oh. say? Be gentle with yourself. I thought it was, I'm yes. going to sue this damn radio station. <laughs> oh. I thought that was it. Be gentle, be gentle with yourself with and I'm yourself. suing you. I'm, I'm going to sue you if you give me a hard time. <laughs> be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be yes. gentle with yourself. I have a good sign off. What is uh, Jimmy's? Meg is next. Meg is next. That's a good one. 
You know Lots what? of people can use that, Jimmy. I don't know why they haven't stolen that all over the country. What about Paco sign off? Oh. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, the blood Don't is rushing. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> yeah. Don't drop the soap in prison. <laughs> this is Paco. No. Anyway, of course we have to go. <laughs> we have to go. Listen to this. 